So yesterday we talked about the camera features. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit more features on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Actually will make your phone much better. So yesterday I asked you guys to download this camera assistant from your good luck or from your Galaxy store. So now we're going to go into the camera assistant. If you go down all the way down here, you will see there's like this thing called camera assistant. We're going to go in there. You can see this camera assistant. We're going to go in there and there is a lot of in-depth features inside this setting right here. First of all, we are going to talk about the zoom in shortcuts. If you need zoom in shortcuts, shortcuts, there is actually two times, 10 times and 100 times. If you look at your camera right now, there is actually not a lot of features, a lot of options for you to zoom in because they jump one by one. However, if you turn this on, they will have two times, 10 times and 100 times. So if you turn on your camera and then you have to go to 12, mega, 12 megapixel, so you will see all the options right there. You can see that. Okay, it's additional features for you to, if you want to do any zoom in, okay, right here. And now we are going to go to auto HDR. So this is not that important if you, you know, like HDR or not, this is all yours. The next features I would like to show you is it's actually auto switch lens. If you actually notice, sometimes when you switch your lens, let's just say you do zoom in, they actually will do digital zoom instead of actual manual zoom. So right here, you can see there is a lot of lens. And one of them is super zoom in, one of them is just a regular lens, and one of them is a wide angle lens. You know that, right? However, if you do not switch this off, you know that actually Samsung will switch the lens for you. And that digital zoom, it will not be the greatest. Okay, so I would like to turn this off because I don't want them to switch the lens for me. I want to decide by myself. The next feature is actually for wide angle, distortion corrections. So if you actually have a group of people, you want to fit everybody in the same picture. If you do not have this, the people on the side, the person on each side will be a little bit fat because they stretch their body because you're using a wide angle will help you to correct the distortion so make it a little bit more normal okay so now let's just go for advanced resolutions option in here at the top you will see there's actually a couple options but both of them is actually pretty similar. It's actually upscale the zoom. So let's just say, as I said, right, they sometimes they use digital zoom. If you do not switch the auto switch lens, they will actually use digital zoom. When you turn this on, they will actually up the resolution for you. If you still stick with the auto digital zoom, then they can actually switch the lens for you, no problem. All right, so this, it depends on you. For me, if I switch this off, I don't need this, okay? This right here, I don't, ne I don't need them to switch my lens for me. I want to do it by myself. Then I, this is not important right here, all right? So I guess sometimes when you actually take pictures, you notice sometimes it's actually quite slow when you take pictures. Right here, there's a, this thing called quick tap shutter, okay? only based on 12 megapixel, maybe even not 50. Because 50, they need to you know, put lots of things inside the pictures, right? But 12 megapixel, and if you turn this on, when you start taking pictures, it's gonna be pretty, pretty fast. So this is actually quite useful, you turn this on. Prioritize, focus over speed. So it depends on your personality. If you want quality first over the speed, turn this on. If you do not want that happen, just turn that off. And this already tells you quality over speed. It depends on you if you want that or not. Now, record videos in the photo mode. So if you're on the photo mode, I just say I'm on a photo, you can see that. If I hold this, it will turn to be a video. But however, remember this video is not 4K, it's 1080p because this is in the photo mode. And if you actually swipe up, it will be locked. And now you are into a video mode right now. However, if I scroll up, 
you can see it's only 1080p it's not even the highest quality so it depends if you really want this or not i wouldn't use this because it's the lowest quality for the video so the next one is quite quite important for me at least as one timer okay it doesn't matter if you use capture cheese you should force to activate the uh, pictures or you want to use your palm to activate pictures every time when you do that one palm is, is equals to five pictures and each picture will be 1.5 seconds so let's just say if i do a selfie like just like this i just need to do one time and then you can see it's going to capture five times you can see the top it will capture five times okay let me do this again so let's just say if i just use a palm and now it will do five times so you can do different positions you can do different facials whatever all right and this will save you so much time you don't have to always go back or you don't have to always like oh let's just do the palm again no need to even though you really want to do the old style set the timer it will do the same pretty cool so now i would like to scroll all the way down to right here save video to external storage if you have any sd cards external hard drive whatsoever and you want to save directly into the hard drive you can turn this on and now it will save directly into your SD card, hard drive, whatever you want. So this is actually very, very important, especially if you're recording log video. So now in here, it's just a basic stuff. So camera timeout, if you suddenly accidentally turn your camera after whatever minute you want, then it will shut it off. And right here, if you're actually recording a video right now, if you record more than a minute they will actually dim it down so save you more battery so i've been trying to record let's say when i was driving and things like that so let's just say my driving was 40 minutes this actually saved me a, quite a bit of battery if you just set this up after one minute they will dim it dim it and then was you know it will save you so much battery so this is the very, very, very important menu. It's called Camera Assistance. You can download through app stores. You can download through Google uh, Good Lock, and this will help you a lot on your taking pictures. Please subscribe my channel and share this video. And see you next time. Bye bye. Peace out.